Hi everybody, Alex Zipro here from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be talking about testing the new multi-period day trading make money beta version. Now beta testing of the make money has been going for a couple of weeks now and there have been some really good improvements that have come out of the beta uh, testing and in fact one of the ones is the addition of multi-period trading which was in fact possible in the old version but we have now formalized it in a beta version and details of this multi-period trading is shown in this recent video that was made a few days ago showing that you could trade a, a number of periods during the day so you could focus on maybe two hours in the Asian section session and then maybe three hours in the UK session and maybe four hours in the US session so you could actually split the way the EA trades those particular settings. So that's the one change that we have made and this is a brand new beta version that we are making available. So to a certain degree the work that beta traders have made up to now has been very valuable and bring us to this point but we need to restart the testing on this new upgraded beta version. Now this all started when we tested the make money robot the original version uh, and we found that on a day trading basis it could produce as high as a hundred percent a day and we back tested optimized settings for the month of June and found that that was in fact possible that a hundred percent return could be generated by this EA and that created the interest in developing a day trading version of the make money robot. But the problem is that unfortunately optimized settings are not that transferable from trader to trader and therefore optimized settings are best created on the actual account that you are going to use to trade the EA. So optimized settings are best created by the actual users of the EA on their accounts. And this video will show you how to generate some high level set files for that purpose. But I would urge you to go and have a look at this playlist. Uh, it has some really good facts about robot trading and about optimized settings. A link to this playlist and any other references in this video will be in the description of the video as well as in the comments of the video. As we stand today the beta tester questions are is this trading tool because day trading is actually a tool approach rather than a continuous set and forget approach. So is this trading tool too complicated for the average robot trader? So that's the one question that we are asking. Can set files be used efficiently? And already we're getting a good feel that that is not possible. It is really up to the trader to find strategies that, are, that work for the trader. Is it really as good as an anticipated? And that will again be answered by people taking the EA, applying strategies to that EA and experiencing good results in a live demo testing environment. So that 100% a day result should be transferable into a live demo tr trading environment. And once that is established, you the then can move it into a, into a live account environment. And then the biggest question is, should this be marketed? Because if it is of no use to the average trader, it might not be a good idea to market them or market it because they will have a good chance of failing with this particular EA. Although highly experienced traders that think in a, st a strategic way will be able to make a lot of money from this. So we'll have bad feedback and we'll have good feedback. Now we know or we already know that this EA can be used very efficiently as shown in the results of the make money competition where 
The majority of these traders have used day trading approaches to reach these levels, which are in, in, uh, which are really high. They are almost at the 100% a week level. So we know this EA has a lot of potential in the right hands, in the experienced traders' hands, and the traders that can analyze strategies that 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 will work pretty well for this EA. So we already know experienced traders will benefit from this EA. The problem is rolling it out to the average trader. So as from today, what we would like our beta testing traders to do is to create a schedule like I have on the screen here and test a number of currencies using time frames of either one minute or five minutes and also a different strategies like the reverse strategy the normal direction strategy and the multiple period strategy to create settings for themselves very important and to then record the results and report that in the forum now why do they need to do that we could do that now i have already explained that that set files are not transferable but if this process works we can create a, a process whereby purchasers of the ea can just step by step follow this process to find the best set files for themselves now traders won't just get the results they then need to plug them into live demo accounts and trade them for let's say two weeks to see if those results are transferable into actual profits in a live trader demo account now the big difference here is that we are not going to test this on special data or anything like that we are going to test this on the data that is in the trading account that you anticipate using to demo trade these results so we're actually going to use the broker data although it is of possibly of poor quality it is enough it is enough to give us a guide as to what is what works and what doesn't work so the objective really is which currency works which time frame works best and which of these number of strategies are worthwhile testing so what we're asking our our, our beta testers to do is to actually do this testing and you don't have to there's almost probably 40 or, or 50 alternatives just on this particular choose the ones that you like but at least test a, a, a four or five currencies test a, a, a few time frames and also test a few strategies and come up with your own results now if you come up with your own results you own those results you are not testing something that expert forex has provided you and that you don't trust because you when you test these things that they don't work you own those and that's what we want to do for future purchases of our EAs so if we can give a future a future purchaser a step-by-step -step way of finding these settings that they own that would be first prize coming out of this beta test so the next phase of this video is I'm going to show you how I am going to do beta testing on one of these currencies using one of the time frames or using one of the strategies and I'm going to record the result just to give you an example and then the beta testers can follow that particular example okay so here we are on the mt4 platform i'm actually ch using a, a live account it's a cent account of insta forex because that's probably where i'm going to be trading my initial live setup and uh, we are in the, the uh, tester and here's the make money uh, version 3 beta 2 and make sure that you've got the one that has a three in brackets at the end. That's the most recent one. At the time of making this video, there might be others that come through. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm. I haven't tested anything yet. So let's. I'm not going to go for the, with the pound because I seem to, seem to do the pound a lot. Uh, let's just do the Aussie. I, I'm happy to uh, do on open prices because I've tested tick and open, and they're not too different and i am going to use only a week so i'm going to test from sunday the first to sunday the eighth which includes five working days 
Um, I'm going to use a spread of three because this particular account um, has a different spread setup and a three actually does represent three a spread of three. Um, normal accounts you would need to put in points which is 30 points. I'm going to use a period of five and I'm not going to use my tick data suite at all. I'm going to use the broker history. Okay, so let's go get into the uh, expert properties. And here's the input for the tester for this particular EA. And I've already created some start, step and stop settings here. They are up there. Uh, the ADX 13 to 10 is good. I'm just going to run through them short and long allowed reverse trigger direction. I'm actually going to check that. So I click tick on it and I say same and reverse so the EA will test those. I'm going to run down. Um, not going to worry about maximum open deals if I'll keep it at 60. And then uh, I'm going to use manual lot sizing of one. Now, again, this account, the cent account is slightly different. So when I use one in a cent account, it's the same as 0.01 in a normal account. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. Uh, we're going to keep an initial stop loss of 60. I'm just going to keep it uh, at, at that. Or alternatively, I can actually turn that into zero, which I will for now. And then the take profit, I'm going to test from 20, jumps of 5 to 70. Not going to test any of the trailing stops and that type of thing. I'm not going to worry about target equity profits and that type of thing either. And then here is the new section. And I think I need to just explain how that works. I'm going to be testing three windows. The one window is going to go from 0 to 7.50. In other words, 10 minutes before 8. The next window is going to go from 8 o'clock till 15.50. So 10 minutes before 1600. And then the next window is going to go from 1600 to 23.50. So it's 10 minutes before midnight. So that's how I'm going to set it up. Notice that there's a 10 minute gap between these periods uh, that I've put in and that's on purpose because you don't want it too much of an overlap between these periods so what it's going to do is going to actually go and find the best period in, in window one the best period in window two and best period in window three and then uh, uh, and, I'm, and I'm setting that, yours might be too grey, I'm setting that to white and you'll see why that is. So that's how the setup works. Um, uh, if you want to see the detailed setup, just look, uh, just stop the video and you can see the gaps and things like that that I've used. Just want to double check. Okay, everything looks fine. And what we're going to do is say, okay, so I'm, now I'm ready to test the Aussie five minute uh, platform. Now the, the first thing I do is you have to test whether you have enough history. Now the way you do that is you open an Aussie, tra on a Aussie chart and you set it for the what you're going to be testing five minutes. So there we are. And then all you do, we're going to be testing from eight so we've got up until nine, so that's good enough. And we need to have enough history to go beyond one. So what I do is I just push this back and push it back to see that I have enough history to make sure that I have enough history that I can test on because I'm using the broker's data. Now, if, you are, if it was one minute, you'd most probably find that... And the other way you can do that is just press home and it will give you to the last. So I've pressed home on my keyboard and it's taking me to do the 26th of July. So some brokers have history going back quite a long way. That's the 26th of July on a one minute basis. Always make sure that you've got enough history to uh, do your test. Also, don't choose the last day because your indicators might need uh, a day or two to to start working so don't don't 
ever choose the last day. Anyway, so that was a test we've done on history. And before I start optimizing, I'm going to just run this to see that I'm getting a result. All right, and it's a, it's a minus 700 result, so I, I am getting a result. Just go back here. Again, I'm testing 10,000 uh, using the generic algorithm, and then I have nothing ticked here. So don't go and t t tick anything over there. So now I'm going to do the optimization, and we'll just do it very quick. Now, I am using the broker's data for this optimization. And there we go. Let's see how long that takes. It's, it says it's going to take me one minute. So, Okay, the optimization is finished. It's done over 12,000 uh, alternatives. Just going to sort it out here. And the best result I've got is 163. So what I tend to do is I, I, I put that as input parameters, run it again. We see uh, 163. And then what I also like doing is I like seeing it in visual mode. I'm going to click visual mode and I'm going to run it in visual mode. And there it is running in visual mode. Make it a bit smaller and it will start trading. And there it's trading. So it says in the first session I made $30. Second session made no, no return. And then... The next one was $17. And, and so you can actually see the three sessions that are being traded every day. And you can see the results coming on as we go through the day. Also, what's clear here is we're using the reverse method. Uh, this one had a, 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 a profit of minus, minus nine. There, oh, big loss over there. And uh, let's see. And... Uh, a $74 gain at the end of number three. So that was number one, number two, and number three. So th there you see the, the trading sessions. Again, we're going through there. And what will most probably happen is we'll see five of these sessions going through. So now you can also visually see what is generating income and what isn't generating income there's a, a really good one now and then you get a really good um, result coming out pushing it really high uh, again small little losses there so so overall this setting is fine so what you would do is uh, enter the result of this test into that table that i showed earlier and i'll go to that table once we've finished here Keep it going. Minus 21, minus 5, plus 24, minus 13. So it's going to have various results. But when it hits a good day, there 317 came about. So um, the losses are small, but the gains can be big. And there's a big loss. Uh, and this we almost probably on the last day of, of testing. Big loss over there. Okay, so uh, we go back to the result, 160, 163, and what we would do is we would go to this table for the Aussie, we'd fill in the five-minute result, and we, this would be a reverse transaction, and the result would be 163. Then I'd move on to the next, 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 next currency test a couple of them you can see it goes very quickly the tests only take two or three minutes and test a couple of ones and then maybe move on to the one minute and see how those results look and then very soon you'll know, you'll get a feel of which currencies are good for this ea which currencies are bad which time frames are good which which uh, strategies are good and so on and those results will help you with your forward testing but the big thing here is that we're using the broker's data. Okay, so I hope this video gives beta testers an idea of the way forward. Once we've got all of those results out, we then decide which ones are the best to roll forward into live demo trading. And we start trading those to see if we can convert our optimized settings that we've used for the brokers uh, used on the broker's data into profitable results. 
At a later stage, we will ramp that up by using percentage of equity setting, but it is still too early to do that. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.